Hey ladies, so this video is going to be all about acrylic brush care, but I wanted to show you guys how I care for my brushes. As I'm applying acrylic, what I do is I wipe my brush very, very often. Um, I do try to keep it clean during the whole process. I, after each time I apply a ball and apply it to the nail, I quickly wipe my brush off to get any acrylic off. When the acrylic starts to dry, it will dry on the brush and that will completely ruin your brush. Um, I'll show you an example of one of my very old brushes that I did not take care of, but you'll see that some of it, I've tried to salvage it. There's a lot of acrylic caked in there, so it's very tough. This is unusable. It sucks at picking up acrylic. It doesn't keep its shape. You'll see here, it just gets very gross. Even if you try to take the liquid out, it's still really gross. So that is one of the dangers of not keeping your acrylic brush clean. Um, I will not stress this enough. You cannot use acetone to keep your brushes clean. Even though that sounds like it might be alright, even though if it sounds like that would make sense to remove the acrylic, if it's going to remove the acrylic, which is a hard substance, what do you think it's doing to the bristles? What you want to do is use clean monomer. I have a dappin dish set aside just for soaking brushes once I'm done. What I do is I fill this up with monomer and clean these out uh, pretty often because you will get acrylic that has come off your brush if you don't clean it enough and it will kind of gunk up and get really nasty. So just put acetone in there and clean up around the edges or inside and soak it and make sure that there's nothing in there. What I do is after I get done with the acrylic, so I'm just going to pick up another ball really quick. So here's my acrylic. I'm going to just wipe that off. And how I do this to try to keep my brush a shape, um, as I'm wiping my brush, I twist it. I don't know if you guys could really see that, but I twist my brush and kind of dry it and keep that tip pointed. Okay, that, that's going to keep your brush in good shape and ready for next use. But once, you're, once I'm done, what I do is I find something to prop this up against. So for this example, I'm just going to use this. I get clean monomer. I clean it out and put just a little bit of clean monomer in there. I'm going to put my lid on to hold, kind of hold it. And then I'm going to lean it against something. Okay? So that's going to help it to soak. You're going to want this to soak for just a little bit. This will break up any um, acrylic that is on there. If you do find that you have acrylic that has been caked in there, what I do is I grab my brush and I grab something like this. Um, I use something like this, so what I do is I dip my brush in my monomer, I place it on the napkin, kind of fan it out, press it down, and I gently scrape off any of the dried on acrylic like this. I will do that same process, dip it in the monomer, fan it out, and scrape off any that have dried. You're not going to want to use acetone. The reason for that is it will dry out your bristles. Once your bristles are dried out, it's not going to pick up the liquid properly and it's not going to pick up the acrylic properly. So it's going to be rendered useless eventually. Um, also, the acrylic, or the acrylic, the acetone will dry out the glue which is located in the barrel of the brush down here to hold the bristles in place. Now, if that happens, um, and it's especially, uh, it happens a lot if you will, don't allow your brush to dry and you just stick it um, bottom down. In addition to not using acetone, the most important thing that you can do is once you uh, dip your brush into the monomer, once you're done, into the clean monomer I should say, and you start to just drag it across your paper towel, dry, clean, um, shape it, you're going to want to just place it on a clean, dry paper towel. Let this dry completely once you're done using it. And then from there you could store it how you want. You could store it in a drawer, you could store it um, sticking up, you could store it wherever you want to. 
I personally store it in a big jar of Epsom salts, which I will show you guys, actually. I don't think I've ever showed you guys. And different things. I've got lots of different brushes in here. I just stab them into the... Oh, that sounds so nice. <laughs> I stick them in all um, face down, or end in bottom. The bottom of the brush, I stick it in so the bristles are all facing up. I'm easy, easily uh, have all of my brushes there ready for me to pick up and use. I like to keep everything neat and organized. Um, but yeah, that is my brush care video. That is everything that I suggest you guys do to keep your brushes lasting long. Um, one other question that I had about picking up acrylic, and I guess I'll, I'll just address this now. When picking up acrylic, once you dip your brush in um, into the monomer and you drag it across, you drag it across your um, your acrylic powder, you're going to want to barely dip anything in and kind of drag it across. You don't want to dip it straight in because then you'll get acrylic all the way around, all the way around your brush. You want it to be on one side and then flip it over and apply your acrylic that way. But that is my brush care video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. hope this will help somebody uh, save their brushes. Um, I, you guys have saw a couple of mine that I've just ragged on and completely destroyed. I don't know why I keep them. I guess it's just more of a reminder to be more aware and uh, take care of my, my brushes. Um, but that is how I keep my brushes new and uh, continuing to work correctly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment below or you could PM me. If you haven't done so already, please comment, rate, and subscribe if you would. And I will see you next time. Bye, ladies.